If you ever want a jacket that just kind of does everything at once, we got that jacket for you here today. Let's take a look at it. Hey guys, Lucas here from Future Surplus, and today we're going to take a look at the USMC Desert Combat Jacket. And what this is, is a armor specific and armor compatible uh, jacket used by the Marine Corps that is just fantastic. And we're going to take a good look at it, what it offers you, and what are some of the uses for it, and why you should consider, you know, taking a look at one of these if you really need a good jacket for a lot of uses. So, let's get into it. So this is a really cool jacket that has some mixture of hard shell and soft shell jacket features, plus some like combat shirt kind of features, all combined into one jacket that's kind of... It just does everything. It's a jacket of all trades. So what it does at the end of the day is it lets you wear body armor, backpacks, chest rigs, other layers while not overheating in the cold weather and still just maintaining that good body temp that's warm, but you're not going to sweat. You're not going to just, you know, die on the side of the hill at the end of the day. So let's go into how it does that. The chest portion and on your back, the same area is a highly breathable, just kind of almost Think about the shirt body on a combat shirt, apply that same kind of thought process to this jacket. So if you're wearing a plate carrier and you got that heat sink or a backpack, you got that heat sink against your back, all that, this is really breathable. So that way when you're moving around, you're not gonna overheat like crazy with a normal jacket, which would be complete insulation throughout, or you might even just lose some insulation just to try and get that way, but it's still not gonna be breathable. But this allows you to breathe when you're wearing that. And when you sit down, because the jacket itself is insulated in other areas, which will go over, you're not gonna you know, immediately freeze and just get really cold. So that's what just makes the jacket so cool is that it's made for armor, made for backpacks, and made for moving around a lot. Your sleeves are four-way stretch and they are aligned on one side with grid fleece. So you have some good warmth in there. And on the other side, underside is a four-way stretch. So that way you got plenty of flexibility, plenty of movability when you're wearing a carrier and still have a shoulder rifle. You don't have to worry about a super bulky jacket kind of making up for the lack of movability and flexibility. From there, your shoulders again and your upper torso are more, are more water and wind resistant, as well as being a little bit reinforced with a different material. That way, that extra wear from straps doesn't really you know, wear through it super quick. Hook and loop cuffs make it easy to adjust, and you got plenty of pockets. You got waist pockets, a shoulder pocket, and a chest pocket, and they're all lined with mesh. So we have a little bit of breathability, and you're not making a huge heat sink from a jacket that's made to let you not overheat. So let's look at this with a plate carrier on, as well as having a rifle to show you how you still have a lot of mobility and a lot of flexibility without uh, having to wear a huge oversized kind of coat in order to gain that, anything like that. So let's put that on, look at it real quick. So as you can see, the, that, that more breathable section on the jacket is right where your plate carrier is gonna sit. So you have a little bit more of a uh, you know, issued kind of body armor, an older style body armor, anything like that. It's gonna have a highly breathable section right where your plates are sitting and some of that uh, extra soft armor, body armor, counter buns, and all that. So you're not gonna overheat nearly as fast as you're wearing this. And I've talked to a lot of guys that use these in the Marine Corps and they all loved them. And they just, this is the best thing ever. I wish the Army had an equivalent. They don't, and there's not really a good civilian equivalent. So as you can see, flexibility wise, like you're not really moving, losing out on anything when you have your chest plate, plate carrier or a chest rig or a backpack on because of that forward stretch within the sleeves and down the side of the center. Um, you can still short a rifle just fine. You're not losing out. On a normal jacket, you would overcome this by sizing up to a large or it'd be a really loose kind of boxy fit. Um, and in that case, you know, you can have a lot of extra material. You have a really buff kind of fluffy jacket. This overcomes that by still being warm but still putting your breathability in the areas that need to be breathable, but you're not gonna you know, freeze as soon as you stop and sit down. So, really cool jacket. Um, just can't say that enough times, I know I've said it a lot. So you can see how flexible it is, how just, you don't lose any mobility with this jacket. So, the worst part about this jacket is, it's really only mainly available in Desert Marpat, which for a lot of guys isn't the greatest camouflage pattern for their area, for me in Colorado, us out west, it's great because it's going to work out here most of the year at the end of the day. But uh, during the winter time, where this jacket kind of applies to for the main use, um, it's not the worst thing because out east, especially in the southeast, where the woods just dry out, they get dead, real browned out. Um, Desert Marpat isn't a horrible camouflage pattern for that area. I'll definitely you know see what it does for you out there, give it a go. But at the end of the day, if you're on the range, you know just doing some courses of fire at the range with your buddies, this is a good jacket to go with. Just make sure you don't overheat and you're, you're not gonna get cold and you sit down. Just because all the features in here, you just even if you can't use a camouflage pattern, it's just a badass jacket to have. So the Marpat, or the Woodland Marpat versions, um, 
from what I'm aware, they're only available through private purchase through the MCX and they weren't a standard issue item such as the desert ones. Um, so there's a lot less out there and a lot harder to get a hold of. But if you want to be the first to know if we ever do get those, and especially if we get more of these, because at the time of filming, we had this in stock, it may run out by the time you watch this though. Um, sign up for emails because that's the first place you're going to find out when we restock this kind of stuff timelines as far as getting more of them and all the other great stuff we have and get in stock all the time as well as sales because you don't want to miss out on our sales because our sales are pretty awesome and you're going to be able to get the gear you want for a heck of a lot less than it already is so thanks for watching leave a comment below if you have any experience with these jackets because they're just plain awesome